Hey, so hi, welcome to Ping Pong with People. I am a professor teaching photography at the Oberlin Art Department. And today I'm going to be playing with Jacob Chiotti. Little does he know that I actually also I am a coach uh, for the team here as well. So we're going to have a lot of fun today. Hi, I'm Jacob. Going to play ping pong with Pipo. And let's do it. So Jacob, yeah. being back here for the last two years, what are you thinking? Was it good? It was very good and weird. But you're like the cool teacher now. <laughs> you, you know what I mean? It's like you're like the cool teacher where... Right. <clears throat> do you remember when you um, switched from being the cool teacher to not the cool te oh, yeah. teacher oh, anymore? Oh, yeah. No, the funny thing is, you, you, you first you're like the big brother. Oh, yeah. And then you become like this young uncle. <laughs> and then somehow you become a dad. And then somehow when you get to like John Pierce and you become like the grandfather, right. you know what I mean? So it's kind of weird. Yeah! There, you know, it's funny because I probably thought, oh, I can be a practicing artist and a good teacher because of you or John Pearson or Nanette or Johnny. You know what I mean? Uh -huh. Like, because uh -huh. art always comes first for me, ultimately, uh -huh. like my stuff. <laughs> like. I just don't, that doesn't make sense to me to be an art teacher. But, 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 but Jacob, do you get ideas art. from your students too? Like just yes, like sitting around, not. just listening to them talking? All the time. Well, the hardest thing about teaching here, the students take up so much energy. Oh, they're blood suckers. <laughs> yeah. Have you ever done an art show in Vietnam? Oh yeah. You know, and then I work with a, a group of homeless children. In Vietnam. In Vietnam and, you know, trying wow. to get them to school, teach them about art a little bit or what have you. But Every so summer? when I leave here, I go there and I do these things for free for my community. I did not know that. Oh yeah. It, it took me a long time to actually like Oberlin as a place. I always right. loved like Oberlin students as a, yeah. you know, as a teaching, but like... I think that's the right way to do it though. It's almost like... I don't know, it, just, it, it makes it more fun when you leave and then you come back because you realize how special it is. Okay, smash it! Yeah! <laughs> awesome. Keep, Keep us teaching, good, right? Yeah. You guys witnessed a great, great match. We were just at it for hours, and we just had to give it up just because we were both so good. I lost. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> 